Capricorn, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Let's dive right in. Bear with me. I'm battling a cold, but we got this. We're in this together. So ultimately right now we're feeling like there's a little bit of angst uh, from not feeling like you've accomplished a particular goal or reached a particular milestone universe wants to remind you beautiful soul that that is all a mind conditioning that is very far from the truth as a matter of fact the universe wants to remind you that you're exactly where you need to be and this is actually a time of celebration for you because you're about to reach a particular milestone the same one that you wish that you were hoping for there's going to be a different milestone that's going to take its place it's going to leave you feeling more satisfied now what this is going to do is it's going to remind you beautiful soul that we cannot jump steps to receive or achieve things we have to simply be present in the moment and take steps from where we are what this means is is that if you're looking to change the way that you live your life healthier, say, healthier habits in life, if you're currently right now enjoying a bag of chips on the couch at night with your family, all of a sudden switching those up to carrot sticks might be a bit of a stretch, right? And so you might be hard on yourself, well, I haven't eaten those carrot sticks yet, Oh, it's too difficult. I'm just going to go back to the chips. Don't be. Instead, just look at where you are and make the healthier choice, right? You know what? I'm going to choose the, the, the vegetable chips instead of the potato chips. You know, it's, that's all what it's about. It's just being present in the moment and really recognizing what choice is in your power at this time. We feel like right now there may be a lot of conflict going on, internal conflict. You feeling like you're not being honest with yourself. You're feeling like you're not taking enough of the uh, enough charge, taking enough lead. Um, just maybe not feeling like things are moving along fast enough and again you're just really wishing that things were evolved and that your outer world looks different from what it has been but again the universe wants to remind you that everything that you're experiencing right now is quite literally that experiences and data it's the last thing we want to hear when we're going through it but it's the truth and with, through these experiences through this unfocused, unscattered, unbalanced energy that you are going through right now, it is going to lead you to a time of very much stability, a feeling of grounded, a feeling of a certainty and this inner knowing. Okay. Cause what happens is when we go through a time of uncertainty and we feel like we're not where we're supposed to be, this is part of the soul expansion process, right? It's never easy. It's not rainbows and butterflies. It most certainly is much more challenging than that. But the good news is, is that on the flip side, you're going to get to where you want to go. Now you're going to get there with a lot less pain and suffering. If right now you really prioritize not being hard on yourself and I should be doing this and I should be doing that and I should be farther along and I wasted all this time and what was I thinking? And oh my goodness, if I had started sooner, none of that. What the universe wants you to do is become very much a neutral observer of your life right now and start to observe. This is a fun game. Start to observe what energies in your life leave you feeling joyful, peaceful, at ease, excited. What is it? Is it journaling? Is it going out for a morning walk? Is it enjoying your morning coffee? Is it, you know, um, hanging out with your kids? What is it that leaves you feeling, ha? Ah, I'm good, right? Everything's okay. Maybe it's a feeling of satisfaction from completing something. If that's the case, then focus on the end feeling of completion instead of the actual act of doing it, right? We always want to make sure that our beingness attracts beingness. So how you energetically feel emo uh, emotionally, how you desire to feel and how you feel, right? Very much important that we have these, uh, have this awareness, right? Because how we feel right now in this time and space, in this present moment is what attracts in 
things and our outer world that resembles that. It means that if you're constantly vibrating at a low frequency uh, and, and you're in a negative state because you are hyper-focused on people in your life that are maybe not responding the way that you want them to so that you feel better, it's leaving you up at night, it's making you feeling, leaving you feeling really uh, emotionally drained, right? Perhaps focusing on, again, the conflict as opposed to the, the abundance. That attracts an illness, that attracts in disease, that attracts in a lot of uh, unfulfilling, unsatisfying things. It's not meant to bring worry. We're not saying that's happening. We're bringing an awareness. When we are in a low energetic state, you ever notice your joints start to hurt? You ever notice that you start to develop things, you know, more pain in other places, right? Sore backs is a common one, sore hips, right? Tight hips. We store a lot of emotions in the hips, right? So whenever we've been in a really negative state or we've even been in a negative environment, we can pick up that energy. We can feel that energy. That's why the universe is saying right now would be a really good time to set your priorities to what it is that you want in your life. Set your focus to your life because we see right here with the six of wands in reverse that too much priority has been placed on fulfilling this void within yourself from meeting the approval of others. Now, beautiful soul, this will take you out. I'm promising you that it'll take you out because there's no way you're ever going to be able to meet the approval of others ever. It doesn't matter what you do or, or, or what you, what, you know, what, what happens in your life. The only approval you're ever going to want to meet is your own because when you put the focus on meeting your own approval, that's when you really start to actually expand from where you are. Okay because then you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this for me. And then you're gonna realize, well, this is what I wanna do and it's gonna be the next step. But the minute that we put our awareness on, you know, trying to, you know, make, make this happen for our family, for our kids, for our, for our spouses, well, the difficulty with that is that we end up trying to do things that are out of our desires, are, are, are out of alignment with what we want. And when that happens, we end up resenting. We end up taking on more than we have to. We end up not seeing uh, the, the, you know, that we're not, we just end up feeling really badly. It doesn't feel like our truth, right? Because we are not connected to our intuition at that point. We are more connected to the thinking mind because it's the thinking mind that will go ahead and say, if I do this for this person or to get this outcome, I'm going to do it. This is going to be great, right? And again, because the mind and the body are, are the mind, body, and soul are, are, are very connected, but the mind and the body are very connected. They cannot be, and, and, and when they kind of come together in partnership, the mind and the body without the soul, that's when things, again, can be blown up out of proportion. We create this illusionary life, if you will. Yeah, we could do this. And the body's like, yeah, that feels great. Let's do it. But when it comes down to it, the soul's like, I'm not in this because this, this doesn't really feel like the truth, right? And we become, again, more unaligned and disconnected and just become burnt out and end up resisting what's actually right in front of us. So again, you're going to really want to prioritize Capricorn what is it that you want in every single moment? What, and not, not necessarily what you want, because sometimes that frightens us. I don't know what I want. I don't know who I am. I, I just want to be rich and have a happy family, right? We, we kind of go down to our, our, our deepest desires. But what you want to do more so is you want to ask yourself, what would leave my, my beingness or what would leave me feeling joyful or present or energized or excited? Whatever you desire to feel grounded, right? How do you desire to feel in this moment? happy and then ask yourself ask your mind okay mind how what would bring me into this energetic state right now right apply the mind for what it's meant for right for 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 helping the spirit right and then the body then aligns with the mind and the spirit and brings that into action you see that's how we become this magnificent power tool of creation and becoming the creator of our life truly from our full power is the heart we stop and we ask our intuition what is it that i that what feels best for me in this moment and then the mind supports that and then the body applies it you see and that's how we're meant to operate here because we're just here to go through different experiences, right? Our consciousness on the other side is simply just that, a consciousness. We do not have a physical body, which means that when we are on the other side, we know the concept of a dog or what love is or to have a relationship or to be in a partnership or have children. We understand the concept, but we don't have the experience of it. We're not experiencing it with the feeling and the touch and the, all the good stuff that comes with the experience, right? So it's almost like if you're like, I know what it would, what it, what it is to win the lottery, but I don't have that experience. 
Okay, so that's why we come here to planet Earth is to experience that feeling. And that's why when we, when we feel that feeling, right, whether it's in front of us or not, when we feel it, we attract it to us, you see? And so that's why it's really, really important to start prioritizing the feeling state of which you wish to be, not what you should do or what action you should take to get something, but how do you wish to feel and feel that and apply the body and the mind to assist you. Now we are gonna segue into your angel message here of child cards. So your angels are saying, we care deep, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the, ch to the children who need you. When you live your life in a loving state, because you are prioritizing, focusing on the love in your life. That means looking at every situation from an unconditionally loving place. That means, for instance, when you're sitting in a chair, remind yourself, wow, I'm sitting in a chair. There's a physical being sitting in a chair. I feel the feeling of it, the, 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 the heaviness of it, right? The gravity of it. You don't get to experience that on the other side, right? When you're experiencing your, the love, love of your children, right? Sometimes sitting in a chair at, the, at your office in front of a computer, that could go a lot of different ways mentally, right? Realistically, if we let the mind control that one, whoa, that could go a lot of negative ways. But if we let the soul really come forward and speak and say, wow, look at this desk I have. Look at this computer. Look at this space that I'm in right now. This is, this is an experience. This is interesting. Here I am, right? And, and without the mind getting away of its own and, and saying all the things that the mind wants to say to, to ruin the party, right? We simply just be in that moment for a second and let that energy kind of build, right? Anytime that you hold a thought for a while that feels good for you, you build your frequency up, right? And so it's not about jumping, what should I do? Maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. Well, if I did this, well, if I did that, you're jumping to too many different thoughts. You're not allowing the energy and the momentum to build enough where it feels good and then it's, everything's gonna feel very confusing. So just sit in those moments where it feels energetically good, really feel the feeling of what you desire to feel and know that that's gonna be what attracts in your fantasy life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.